from WWS perspective, climate change and environmental collapse are the main challenge that we face today. And these are made much worse, as noted already, by the carbon bias in the ECB's collateral framework and its asset purchases. So on the asset purchases, we know that 63% of the corporate QE program supports high carbon sectors. We also know that between March and May of this year, the ECB purchased almost 8 billion euros worth of assets from oil majors. Now, this creates an implicit subsidy because it improves these companies' financing conditions and makes it easier for them to damage the climate and environment even more so than they were already doing. On the collateral framework, we're encouraged by the fact that the ECB is now accepting sustainability-linked bonds as collateral, but we still consider that the ratings which determine which securities qualify uh, still omit climate and environment risks. Now, there is some good news. There's good news. There is a U, an, an EU tool which allows us to determine which activities are sustainable. And President Lagarde, you yourself have praised this tool called the EU Taxonomy of Sustainable Investments. Uh, you said it's use, it will be useful for the ECB to green its own operations, and many private financial institutions are already assessing their own alignment with the taxonomy. So I have three questions which I hope to hear your answer to. Uh, will you green the ECB's asset purchases by aligning them with the EU taxonomy? If so, how will you do that? Will you use the taxonomy to review the ECB's collateral framework, particularly using the uh, electric power criteria to exclude companies with high exposure to fossil fuels? And will you continue to advocate for an unsustainable taxonomy to do so? And finally, the Bank of England is uh, partly reporting its alignment with the Paris Agreement from this year. So will the ECB similarly begin to report its taxonomy alignment? And will it report the taxonomy alignment of the European banking sector? So thank you very much for the opportunity to speak. I look forward to hearing your answers.